Look, I gotta come clean. I have lost my love for making YouTube videos and I just haven't been really excited or motivated to make a video in a very long time. In fact, that last video that I just posted, I filmed it three months ago. And so after seven years on YouTube, I've just become numb to creating content. And you know, I would always just be so worried about if a video would get so many views or if the quality of my videos were up to par to what I saw online. And I just lost the idea of who was it that I was trying to talk to. And then of course, all of that on top of one of probably the most hectic years of my life in my full-time job. It was a lot. And now that I'm gonna be going to 30 this year, I definitely don't wanna go into this next and probably most important decade of my life unhappy, lacking direction, and most of all, unfulfilled. Now, not only have I been struggling mentally, but physically my body has just been fighting against me. I just feel like I'm a lot weaker. I don't have that much energy and my nutrition is shot. I could see it all in my skin. And I really attribute it to stress-induced unhealthy habits and lack of a fitness routine. That kind of sucks because my identity was like wrapped up in my health and fitness. In fact, I started this YouTube channel by making fitness content. I documented my entire fitness competition as like a vlog series, like, and I'm just nowhere near that now. In fact, I think I haven't worked out consistently for like two or three months. Now, a lot of that did stem from injuries. I had a really bad ankle sprain for when I did flag football. And then probably the worst injury was actually when I was in Ghana. And you know, I've had back issues here and there, but this one was like terrible. Like my back locked up and I froze in place. It was really a debilitating injury. In fact, it made me have to miss some of the events that we had to do. So I've been in PT for the last 30 days, 45 days or so. And so I told myself, okay, I gotta get back into it because this knocked me off of my routine, like 100%. But my body, though, was only one third of the piece of the puzzle when it came to my burnout. Citrus mint tea, sure. medicine ball. Thank you so much. You could probably tell I'm not a Starbucks regular and I'm not really a big coffee guy. Well, why are you at Starbucks then? Recently and probably over the last year or two, I've really struggled with this focus and discipline. As you've probably seen on this YouTube channel, I haven't really been consistent with the videos that I've been posting. So what I want to start doing is building smaller routines and habits to really just get me back on track to being more consistent on the things in my life. So I've already started to do things like incorporate a morning routine where I'm journaling, I'm meditating and stretching and doing mobility in the mornings. And with Starbucks, I want to build the habit of deep work and I actually got the idea of deep work from the book by Cal Newport which is really focusing on the idea of just setting dedicated time no distractions just to do work so whether that's like me scripting videos that's me editing this has got to be that place where I can get work done and I know that when I'm done working here I can go back home and enjoy what I need to enjoy and what I ultimately want to do is be able to post more consistently and that's why I want to make a commitment to you guys that I want to post one YouTube video a week so I can be a part of your weekly rotation so move over netflix move over hbo max you gotta you gotta insert some time for some good old noah banks and what i'm really excited about is that the videos i'm going to be making are going to be completely different and that gets me to my last piece
the last reason why I experienced burnout was because of the fact that I just wasn't inspired by what I was creating. And typically my videos come from the experiences and inspirations that I'm having in my personal life. And you know, when I first moved to New York, I was doing so many things. I was trying out different boroughs, you know, eating different foods, going to different sporting events, concerts, things like that. And I used a lot of those experiences to, you know, again, inspire what I was doing in my videos. Over the last year, I've just been extremely complacent. Like I would get up in just enough time to go to work. I'd go to work, I'd come back home. Then I'm just, you know, watching Netflix, maybe playing a video game, eating dinner, and then going to sleep and then doing that all over again. That's not a recipe for success and a recipe for fulfillment. And I just want my videos to have a different vibe. You know, like I love talking tech, but I'm not the spec guy. There's a ton of amazing reviewers out there that talk specs. That's not me. Like I want to make tech videos that are more wrapped around like my lifestyle and how do I incorporate them into my lifestyle. It's gonna force me to try to get out of my comfort zone more too. Like this entire video, this is the first time I really filmed outside of my apartment. It was scary, but I enjoyed that process so much and I want to incorporate more of that into my videos. I want to challenge myself, I want to push myself as a filmmaker, content creator, and make sure that I'm making videos that are both fulfilling for me and fulfilling for you as well. And that's the solution to my burnout, right? Like taking care of my body, taking care of my mind, and taking care of my heart, right? What fulfills me in this new direction fulfills me. Making videos at the intersection of tech, wellness, lifestyle, that lights me up. That helps me feel that energy that I want everybody to feel at the end of these videos, which is why I always say embrace the hype, right? And hype is all about being healthy yet productive every day. And I wanna inspire that idea through this channel that I know will keep me in this for the long run. So again, I'm super excited. If you're a creative, if you're a working professional, this channel is for you. If you have any topics that you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. It's your boy Noah. Be happy, be healthy, and you already know. Embrace. Hi.